Pope Francis's first trip abroad in 15 months could not come at a worse time. Infectious disease experts have expressed their concerns given the sharp rise in COVID cases in Iraq. The Pope's historic visit in the country, where the majority of Muslims are Shia, is welcomed by large crowds of Iraqis. The Vatican has pledged to enforce the safety measures, but that's not the main reason for concern. It's extremely risky. In a few months, the general election will take place and the political climate will be heated and terror attacks will be back again. During the pandemic, the Pope has had to limit his visibility. This is a chance for him to come back to the world stage. The Pope didn't want to cancel the trip, despite his aides in the Vatican advising him to. They suggested arranging it for October, when conditions on the ground would be more stable. But he was determined to go ahead. I think that's also because he wants to offer his support to the Christian community ahead of the general election. Pope Francis is an outspoken supporter of interfaith effort. During his 2019 trip to Abu Dhabi, he met Sheikh Ahmed Al Tayeb, a key authority of Sunni worldwide. They both signed a document encouraging Christian Muslim dialogue. Pope Francis hopes the Iraq visit and meeting with Ayatollah Ali al Sistani Najaf could offer a similar opportunity to Shiite Muslims. Iraqi Shiites have let the Pope know that they don't want to sign any documents. Perhaps the Pope expected that to happen, but the very fact that they decided to meet him is very symbolic. The Pope hopes his presence in a war-torn country, once largely dominated by Islamic State, will help strengthen the role of the Church, as well as encourage Iraqi Christians in their role of rebuilding Iraq. It marks a new chapter, the end of sectarian violence, such as the one of ISIS against both the Yazidi and the Christian minorities. It's a way to help restart the dialogue within the country with all these communities. The pontiff is due to hold an inter-religious service at the site of the birthplace of the prophet Abraham, recognized as the father of faith in one God by Jews, Christians and Muslims. Giorgio Orlandi for Euronews, Rome.